we're going to take a look at this circuit I've built here later on in this semester, but I want to take this opportunity to talk to you about how to go through and debug your circuits, because whenever you're building circuits, there's always the possibility of making mistakes, and then you have to go through and find the mistakes and fix them. So I want to show you the way that I systematically would work through a circuit like this. So maybe this sounds obvious, but the first thing you need to do when you're checking your circuits is you need to know what the circuit should be doing if it's working, right? Because otherwise, how do you know if it's not working? And that sounds obvious, but I think it's easy to just build something and not really think about what it should be doing. So first step is you have to know what to expect. So for example, when I measure the voltage at this node here with my multimeter, I'm expecting to get about one and a quarter volts. And when I turn my breadboard on, I see that I get negative 7.2 volts. So right there I want to turn the breadboard off to keep anything from happening and getting damaged. But the next thing I need to do is to go through the wiring. So I take a look at my schematic over here, the chip that I'm using, and I find out that I've connected the wrong pin to my circuit down here. So first I need to change that. And now if I turn on my breadboard, I get the roughly one and a quarter volts that I was expecting. But let's say that that didn't work. I want to show you how you can keep working through your circuits anyway. So one of the most useful features on the multimeter is this continuity tester, which looks like a little speaker symbol down on your multimeter. And we've used this before, but I just want to show it to you again. So what I would do is this. We know that certain points are supposed to be connected. Say, this green wire is supposed to go from this line on the breadboard up to my minus 18 volt connection. But you never know. I mean, some of these wires could be broken. There could be a break inside the breadboard. So I always go through and check the circuit this way if I'm in doubt. So I've got it on the continuity tester. And what I do is I'll put a small wire on my multimeter, and I'll put it in the line on the breadboard that I want to test and then I'll go up to the minus 18 and if the multimeter beeps like that you know that they're connected so I got a beep there and we'll check the plus 18 and all I'm doing is touching to it to the metal inside this connector here so I can go around to ground check that that connections made I can check that these should all be connected to ground and I can check the plus 5 volts also, I should point out that I did all that with the breadboard off. That's important. If that didn't help you find the problem, what you can do is you can go back to the voltage measurement setting on your multimeter, and I'm going to put my black multimeter connection in ground, and I'm going to turn on my breadboard and carefully measure to make sure that I have plus 5 volts coming out of my plus 5 volt supply. I can measure my plus 18 volt supply and make sure that that could be plus or minus some amount. You can actually adjust those supplies, but 15, plus 15 volts is fine for us there. And check to make sure that we have something around minus 15 to minus 18 volts here. So hopefully by this point you found the problem in your circuit. If not, you'll have to take a closer look at it. But I found most of the time I'm able to find the problem by, again, knowing what to expect, double checking all of the wiring on the circuit, checking the wire physically with the continuity connector to make sure everything I think is connected is actually connected, and then checking my voltages.